Good morning, everybody. DJ Benji here. Um, just doing a little bit of uh, MPC beats workflow kind of time stretching tutorial. But I've I, I, I do use MPC quite a lot, but I've recently got uh, Machine 2 here, and um, it's a bit of a question at the same time because I've been using MPC for a while. I just got this new MPC beats, which is free, so everyone can use it, which is really, really great. Um, but one of the issues that I'm having is I'm having an issue time stretching in a way that I'm used to in machine. So if anybody knows how to do what I'm about to do, then please hit me up, send me an email. I will love you forever. I've only had it. Well, I got it on Thursday, I think. Yeah, Thursday morning or Wednesday or whenever it was. But anyway, um, let's get into what we're trying to do. So. The way machine organizes your library and everything is fantastic. And the way that you can browse through your sounds and everything is really, really cool. I like that. Um, MPC is a similar thing, but they're just different. But the way you can audition your kits and everything in machine, I really, really like that. That's a real, real positive. Um, but yeah, basically what we're trying to do is, um, if we just do an empty project here, um, with your machine sample library, all the light, all, all the um, the loops and everything are all pre-timed to a BPM, so it's easy for it to work out for you. But let's say you wanted to use your own samples, and you wanted to put your own samples into something, or I don't know, a drummer sent you something and said, "Yeah, use this for a, for a nice track or something like that," and you wanted to use their stuff. Um, now, what I'm using here is going to be samples from break beats that I've cut up so this is only for educational purposes my education more than anyone's really um, but yeah so I'm just gonna go here um, so in my library all of my samples are already kind of um, they're already organized because I like to keep my stuff organized because I've had this sample library for years and years and years so anyway uh, we're gonna use some break beats for this I'm just gonna go through um, and yeah so this one is an example of exactly what i want to do because it's got um <clears throat> it's got that doo -doo 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 at the beginning right which i might want to use so let's just go in here we'll close that down and then what we're going to do is we're going to go on here double click it and first thing is look if we zoom in so all i'm doing is just literally clicking on the mouse up there and then on machine it's down here and it? it's it's the opposite way around um, you can see you've got this dead space at the beginning which you might not want but that's not a problem my beat sample actually starts if I play it I don't want my Mac sound to play you can see that it's um, Starts from about here. So I'm going to turn my, <coughs> excuse me, zero snap on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out. And then, um, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Lovely. So we now know that our thing is, um, our loop rather, is uh, two lots of four beats, so it's uh, two bars long, yeah? Probably got that wrong as well, but anyway, correct me if you want. <coughs> um, and it says in our tempo that it's 88.85. That's not always correct when you're using your own loops, okay? Um, and that's not just this software, that's all softwares throughout eternity, right? So anyway, this is the bit that we want. So all we're going to do is we're going to extract that. And in machine, you'd use the truncate function, right? Once you've made your selection and it's all tight and you've got what you want. Um, so we're going to go to extract and then that will pull that out. And then here it will create a new sample which I quite like as well, because then you still got the original, because if I wanted to use this first bit here, let's say I wanted to just get the do-do-do-do bit, 
up to there, I've now got that as well. So when I'm actually chopping my beats and stuff, I've got like a little beat feel, which is cool, but we're not gonna use that for this example. I just want to do this here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right click, and then we're gonna go add to current audio track, okay? So now if we go to this um, track view, you can see it's put our edited sample in here. So you can see my host tempo was 120 um, and it recognized that at 88. Yes, yeah? so it's going to be way off. You'll be able to see that. Um, so if I again click here and just um, if I make my foot three bars long, then you'll be able to see what I'm on about. Right. And if I zoom along, you can see that the, the end of the sample is not quite right. OK, so if I zoom in a little bit. Just going to zoom along with the mouse and you can also use these to bring your waveform so you can see it a little bit more. Now all I'm doing here is just holding the command key and you see my icon has changed and all I'm going to do, you can change your um, time correction off to do this and then you can see you can just move it around freely and then put it in there. Or if you want your time correction on, obviously you can snap it to whichever value that you you choose there, yeah? So that's it. So now if I make this two bars long, it gives me a little counting. But if I play, if I turn my metronome on. actually there but it now can you see the BPM has changed from 88 point whatever it was to a hundred point three five so that's my question how do you do that in machine please somebody all I want to do like I said just if I I know how to do like changing the length of scenes and stuff like that and but like just literally command and then just move that around freely that's just so easy you can do it in FL Studio you can do it in Logic you can do it in Ableton how do you do it in machine please somebody help me do that because now I've got my warp mode on I can just play around with this I can make it that that and then it'll slow down oh hang on if I play that now this but you can see that it, it's kept the tempo if I don't want to keep the tempo obviously you turn warp off and then it will keep the um, the original tempo so now it's it will be completely off ready see how it's not looping correctly anyway somebody please help me with my machine Jason Snell I'm looking at you bro because you was the person that solely convinced me to get a machine saying how fantastic it was and I went out and bought one and I am really really happy with it it is great especially you know how all the hardware integrates with the software and everything um, but something like this is something that I do all the time and it's just it's frustrating me a little bit so please help me anyway thank you very much everyone um take care see you all later um i'm gonna go wake up now because it's 9 30 and do some proper stuff take care see you all later Bye bye